Trani. We're at the IT Expo Tech Super Show 2020 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Joe Ward is with us. He's with Iken. Joe, welcome to the show. How are you? Great, great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Tell us about Iken. So Iken's a pre-revenue startup. We're a visual technology company at our core uh, with focus on initial launch of being a mobile device that will create a hologram in that environment. That's amazing. So um, I've actually seen the technology. It is, it's pretty cool. It's a, it is an actual hologram like you might see in, in the movies. Um, how is your technology different than what other people do or what people may think a hologram is? Yeah, I really appreciate the opportunity to clarify that. Um, you know, holograms have been around for centuries, quite frankly, and we're most familiar with seeing them in uh, Star Wars, Princess Leia, uh, Michael Jackson stage shows, Tupac at Coachella. So the, the current uh, uh, familiarity with holograms is big stage shows. That's not at all what Icon does. So we've patented a technology that allows for holograms to exist in ambient light and to miniaturize them. So without goggles, without any uh, peripheral equipment, we're able to uh, produce a hologram in ambient light, which is quite unique. You know, I was just thinking about this mobile and um You've got holograms and now 5G's coming online. Sounds like a real nice combination of technologies that are going to really open up a lot of opportunity for developers and consumers and businesses. No, absolutely. Um, you mentioned 5G. Although we work in 4G, there's no doubt that the increased bandwidth and speed that 5G is bringing to the table is going to uh, really even help us to, to create even better and more crisper holograms. The bandwidth necessary is fairly significant, so that certainly fits a need. Um, in terms of our approach to, to both consumer and business products, We've made a conscious decision to be an open platform, so we allow the market to drive content and, and, uh, and specific applications. And speaking of markets, what sorts of different spaces will your technology uh, change, transform, help, assist, etc.? So the low-lying fruit is mobile gaming, obviously. It's the fastest growing entertainment revenue stream on the planet, and we believe there's going to be a, tr a tremendous amount of traction in the gaming industry. That said, we've been very specific to not be solely considering a gaming company. Um, so we see applications across all different verticals, whether it's healthcare, um, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, retail shopping, uh, customer service environments, all types of other uses for uh, the Z access, which is really what enables us to present an image with depth and with volumetric and to see around things in, in full, full volumetric display. Uh, will there be a concern from the industry about the bandwidth that these applications consume? Yeah, that's been a real big roadblock to such as things as VR and AR. If you look at Magic Leap as an example, just to name one, there's a tremendous amount of computing required to create those images. Matter of fact, you have to carry a peripheral computer on your hip to produce those images. Um, without getting into the science behind it, um, the brain and your can only process so much at a given time. So from an AI standpoint, we limit the amount of information that is produced so that your, your brain can, can actually uh, perceive it in a volumetric way. It filters out a lot of things. So bandwidth is important and it allows us through some very discrete AI to uh, allow for the brain to process the images that you see. That's great. Now, uh, people may think that um, with a solution like this, in order to make content, they have to go to a studio and get special cameras and hire a special team. Is that the case anymore? No, no, and, and to that point, again, uh, previous to Icon, for instance, Icon could not have existed six years ago. Uh, the bandwidth needed to do this wasn't available. Now with our patented technology, we're able to do that. We don't need studios. We don't need large computing system. We don't really need anything. The, uh, one of the challenges that the VR and the AR world has is content. Again, because we're open platform and because we're very user friendly, we're going to allow the market to dictate that. We've partnered with companies like Unity uh, to create in their SDK the ability to create mobile apps in volumetric display. Very easy to use. That's excellent. So what was your session on here at IT Expo? What happened here? So I had a couple of different speaking opportunities. I was on a 5G uh, panel yesterday 
uh, talking about that. I think the, the big thing for ICANN is I, we believe that 5G is being really misrepresented. Uh, yes, it's bigger, faster, stronger, and all that, but, but for ICANN, it's really a new canvas on which to paint. Uh, we believe that the 5G, the real power there is in the applications that are going to be developed. And again, the market's really going to dictate that. So that was a really, really good session for me to be on. Uh, and today I was in another session that really was more revolved around customer experience and call centers and how to enhance that. And, and clearly we see an opportunity to insert holographic images into that world as well. Awesome. What's next for your company? You know, we've got a really robust product roadmap. Um, I trust you can appreciate as a startup, we want to be laser focused on our mobile launch, which is currently in Q1 of 21. Uh, but subsequent to that, we'll have laptop, tablet, and ultimately leading to the first holographic PC, uh, which will be quite disruptive and, and pretty amazing. Can't wait. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me.